Alright guys, it's time to see if we can actually uh, get some more progress done than what we... Uh, what has happened in the last episode. So, what's going on everybody? It's Double RPG here, and welcome to another episode of Double RPG's Let's Play with Donkey Kong 64 on the Nintendo 64. In today's episode, we are going to resume where we left off, and hopefully we'll make some more progress. And I think we'll uh, end by getting uh, Tiny Kong's third golden banana. But we'll have to see. Okay, um, let's uh, go ahead and... Uh, have Donkey Kong in our party for right now, and uh, if we have Donkey Kong in our party, we s still need to finish up getting the llama or the camel out of the cage, so that, uh, yeah, it's a llama. We need to get it out of that cage so that way it can go inside its uh, pyramid hut, or, or it's just its hut. Okay, there is a uh, yellow banana balloon, so uh, let's go ahead and see if we can try to blow that up with the coconut shooter. That gives us ten more yellow bananas. And those are the headphones to where you can refill the uh, energy, the amount of energy for your musical instruments. So, I just wanted to sh go ahead and show you that right now. But anyway, here is the Baboon Blast course. So, uh, we pretty much need to ride, you know, like in the first level in Jungle Japes, we pretty much need to ride the, uh, the automatic uh, blast barrels to, uh, you know, between each other. And, uh, yeah, I know I missed, but... We'll go ahead and we'll try again. I mean, it's really not that hard, you know, in the first levels, but but in the later levels, it actually gets a bit more intricate and a bit more faster, too. So, if you missed, then it's all trial and error. Okay, let's grab it this time. Okay, cool. We got it. Let's take it. Oh, I thought we were going to miss that. Okay, let's hit that. And we got it. All right. Now that we got it, that should be able to unlock the cell where the llama is. Llama, 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 llama. Oh, thank you! All I got is this old banana! I'm sure it says, take it, it's all yours. And yes, it's all ours. And yes, the golden banana is right there. So, uh, there is the, there are switches around the uh, llama's cave, so we're gonna hit those, but... We're, or it's a uh, temple or whatever, but we'll come back to that later. Let's go get that yellow banana, or that golden banana, right now. We got the first one for Donkey Kong. Nice. And you know, while we're here, why not we go back to that one place where that, uh, well, you know, that where that brood is with the yellow hair, so that way we can get the blueprint. Uh, yeah, we're gonna want to keep Donkey Kong for this, so I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, let's go Let's go ahead and head back this way, and let's take care of that one area to where we can grab the, uh, where we can grab, uh, the yellow blueprint. And, uh, if we go inside this barrel here, you can notice Donkey Kong is invincible, and Squawks comes out and tells you that this ability is, you, uh, uses up the crystal coconuts. And, uh, if we want to get out of this mode, then we need to hit Z and then press C left. But, um, we'll do that uh, when we uh, find a place to stop and, uh, you know, try to get the, uh, the golden bananas. Or the, uh, yellow, uh, blueprint. Let's go ahead and use the coconut shooter on this guy. Or we can use the, uh, we can use the, uh, you know, the orange grenades or whatever, but I would not recommend, uh, doing melee attacks from up above because there's a good chance you'll fall into the sand or whatever. Okay. Let's go ahead and climb up there and grab it, and then we'll get out of here. Okay, we got it. So let's go back to that uh, DK barrel and uh, get invincible again. And we should be able to get out of this place. I am invincible! <laughs> like in uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Okay, I'm going to meet you guys back in front of that one temple area. Okay, here we have uh, Tiny Kong. And by temple area, I meant this one. And we're going to go inside with Tiny. Because, whoops, we actually need to move over a little bit. And we need to hit this switch. And we're going to take care of getting a golden banana for Tiny inside this place. So, uh, let's go inside and see what we can find. Yeah, and you pr if you probably heard me in my Tales of Symphonia LP, I am kind of coming down with a cold. But I'm trying my best to, uh, you know... Uh, subdue it so that way I don't remain having a cold much longer so that way it can heal faster but who knows if we go inside this barrel here as Tiny Kong that makes Tiny Kong pretty tiny 
And Squawks is telling us the same thing, you know, with Donkey Kong's barrel or his... You know, it uses up crystal coconuts, and if we want to cancel, then we hit the Z button plus uh, C left. But let's go ahead and swim in here because there is a small gap to that we need to swim through in order to get access to one to where one of the uh, golden bananas is located. It's right over here, and there's some purple bananas too. Very nice. Uh, we'll come back for that other one. So uh, let's. Go ahead and grab it, and then we'll head on forward. Okay, let's go ahead and head back. And let's grab this, and uh, revert. You can't revert back? Well, doesn't look like you can revert back, but at least you can fight against the clap traps. Yeah, I, um, I would be careful, you know, fighting against the clap traps, as they do have those uh, exterior mouths that pop out to where they will try to hurt you after they are killed, but we defeated it. Now, I defeated them regardless, and we got our first golden banana as Tiny Kong. Nice. Now, it's time to get out of here, but before we leave this place, uh, let's explore around a little bit, because I'm pretty sure there are some purple banana coins and some more uh, purple bananas that we have not found as Tiny Kong, so let's go ahead and head down this way, and we'll do some exp uh, exploration. Watch out for the starfish. Of course, they make their return from Donkey Kong Country 2 and uh, uh, Donkey Kong Country and all their rights. Okay, there was, I mean, there were some purple banana coins. And uh, let's go ahead and head back to that one place where Tiny was being held prisoner. Because I'm pretty sure there's some other goodies that we missed there as well. And I'm pretty sure that there is. So uh, let's go ahead and head by the cell and... Uh, We'll uh, use our uh, feather bow, and we'll take down these purple uh, banana balloons. And sometimes they are hard to hit when they're far away, but if you got a good uh, aim, then be sure you get them. Okay. Oh, missed. I know instinct has it. You want to get closer, but you got to remember there's also those enemies that are over there, so try to be careful. Okay, we got both of them. So, uh, I think... I think we're pretty much done in this area, so let's go ahead and head back outside, and I'm going to be switching over to Diddy. So, I'll meet you guys back outside. Okay, we got Diddy Kong with us. And the reason why we want Diddy Kong is we want to climb up this tree. By climbing up this tree, there is Diddy Kong's own barrel, which is the uh, rocket barrels, you know, that I hate with the flaming passion because of how bad the controls are. But we want to go over here and we want to take down this brute with the red hair because he has Diddy Kong's blueprint for this level. And we'll grab that and we'll uh, head back to where the main, uh, where the llama's uh, own uh, home is. So let's go ahead and head over there right now. But we're not gonna take care of the llama's hut yet as we're just going to take care of some other stuff. And I went ahead and grabbed the uh, the red uh, bananas right there. Now, let's go ahead and head over here real quick because there is uh, some things that we can take care of, like getting some of the red bananas in this uh, area here. And there are four gongs right over there. So uh, let's go ahead and climb up these trees real quick and we'll grab the red bananas. And then we will bash the gongs with Diddy Kong's Chimpy Charge. Or if you want to go by the scientific name, you can too. And I still find the, um, uh, you know, I still find the uh, scientific name to be really funny. Hurtus Cranium. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, climb up this. And uh, let's grab this. Okay, now we can do the chimpy charge on the gongs here. Let's go ahead and do this. And like I said, there's four of them. And after you hit each one of them, they will go down. And it will bring a surprise, you know, somewhere around here. It's, and something tells me that surprise is going to go grow big from where we're at. But we'll see. Okay, we hit all them, and it does grow. W looks like we got a temple that grows out of the ground, or some type of uh, Aztec hut. Hey, wait a minute. They're they're actually Aztec huts. Why were I, why was I even calling them temples? Oh, I don't know. Okay, um, what we need to do is we need to head back to where those rocket barrels were, and we're gonna have to, uh, ride up the, uh, we're gonna have to ride up to the top of that, uh, 
Aztec building and grab the golden banana for Diddy Kong. But first, let's grab these uh, yellow bananas and yellow banana coins. And then uh, we'll switch back over to Diddy Kong. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and switch back over to Diddy Kong. Just watch out you don't fall into the, uh, you don't fall into the sand or whatever. But, you know what? Let's go ahead and take care of these, uh, these blueprints already. And, uh, we can, uh, get their golden bananas and we can move on forward from where we're at. <laughs> and I know, I should have been talking in, uh, talking in Snide's voice, but, uh, you know what? Uh, I might as well just leave it alone and we'll just get our golden bananas. So, I'll just keep keep my mouth shut with doing Snide's voice for once. And, uh, I got a comment saying that, you know, some, a uh, few people actually don't like my voice acting, you know, for the characters, but, you know, it's one of those things that you try to, you know, make LPs entertaining, but you can't please everyone. I know that for a fact. You can't please everyone, and not everyone's going to like what you do, but, hey, at least you're doing something, uh, regardless of what, you know, people do or don't like. So... At least you have some accountability to keep things fresh. Okay, let's get uh, Tiny Kong, and we'll go ahead and we'll take care of her uh, blueprint, so that way we can get her golden banana, and we will do Diddy Kong's next. And uh, I really like the Rube Goldberg, uh, you know, uh, mechanics of trying to get the golden bananas inside the Snide HQs that you find. It, it's just, it's really funny, and it's... It's very awesome that Rare would have some accountability to think of stuff like this. You know, for, uh, you know, for some characters or some things within a game, you know, it's just, it adds a bit more creativity overall. And, you know, I really like it how Rare had a, a lot more freedom to do some, uh, I mean, to develop most of their games when they had that partnership with Nintendo. Because if you think about the stuff that they've been doing with Microsoft, it's like Microsoft is, uh, pushing their own buttons to get things done on time and, you know, restrict their freedom and such, so, um, so I pretty much would blame Microsoft for buying Rare, you know, because Rare doesn't have that freedom to where they can actually do, uh, you know, make games what, you know, that are really, really well made and all, you know, really well developed and such, because ha not having any freedom it's just, it's, it's bad. I mean, I think it was good that the partnership existed, but it would have been nice if the partnership continued to this day and Nintendo could have bought a Rare as a second party or whatever, like they uh, have Camelot Software planning as a second party developer. So, yeah, you could pretty much see where I'm coming from, and it would have been nice to, uh, oh, let's get out of here. I don't want to get hurt by the sand anymore. But, yeah, I, I was... I'm still not very satisfied with Rare's current direction, you know, that Microsoft is putting him in. But anyway, enough of my uh, rant about that. Let's go ahead and get this golden banana, which we missed out on, and we'll grab it right now. Stupid rocket barrel controls. Anyway, we got the third golden banana for Diddy Kong, and there is a saxophone pad over there. But we don't have Tiny Kong's own musical instrument, so... Uh, we'll go get it real quickly, but there are some purple banana coins that we can find over here. And a purple banana sack, too. Very nice. We got 50 overall as tiny in this level. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go over to Candy Kong's place to where we can get Tiny Kong's musical instruments. Okay, here we are right over here. And uh, if we come over here, we will get Tiny Kong's own instrument. And since there was a uh, pad that had a saxophone on it, you can guess that Tiny Kong's own musical instrument is a saxophone. Yep, it's the saxophone slam. Very nice. Ooh, the daisies. <laughs> you know, when looking at Tiny Kong, she kind of does, you know, resemble a hippie, doesn't she? I think that was the type of uh, car caricature ar uh, archetype that they were going with Tiny. So, yeah, that, that was pretty cool to have some diversity in the design or something like that. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, get out of here, and we'll go over to the number two banana port pad, and we'll head back to where we were. Yeah, I could have just done that, but you know what? Might as well, you know, uh, you know, show you where that banana port leads to, since I missed out on the first couple of times or whatever, so... 
let's go ahead and uh, get tiny, tiny. And we will uh, play the saxophone slam at the uh, at the uh, at the musical instrument pad of hers. Okay, let's go ahead and head up here, and we'll play the instrument as Tiny being Tiny. And this is what we need to do in order to get past this one part, because Squawks is not going to be able to carry Tiny if she is in her uh, regular size. But if Squawks brings us up here with Tiny being Tiny, then we get access to a new place within this level. That's inside that Aztec building. And rightfully so. Okay, looks like it's a race, but this is the, uh, this is the spinning beetle or whatever. Or, you know, you know, the fast spinning beetle, the racing beetle or whatever. This is probably one of the most annoying characters that you will ever encounter in this game. And he's pretty much telling you how to, uh, you know, play this mini game against him. So, what you need to do is you need to find 50 of the DK coins and beat the beat your opponent at the finish line so it's kind of the it's kind of the same thing when trying to uh you know play that one mini game you know with the mine carts in order to try to get 50 dk coins or whatever without uh you know with the and getting to the finish line without losing uh less than 50 or m making it there without less than 50 you know yeah yeah you know what i'm talking about but yes this is probably one of my f least favorite uh, mini games it's because of how uh because of how mean and evil that this beetle can be and god forbid uh why did they why did rare have to make this beetle very fast could they be at least a little more lenient with the, the difficulty i mean for god's sake it's just at times like this it makes you say come on but anyway, let's see if we can try to pass this guy and we can get out of here. But yes, keep, make sure that the uh, DK coin count is still pretty high, and we're pretty much gonna make a uh, pretty much make a run for it, so that way we can uh, beat the beetle. Because that squeak that the beetle makes is like, ugh, it pierces your brain. Okay, let's uh, watch out for the uh, going off the ledges there. And if you do go off the ledges, then you pretty much will uh, uh, retire from the race. But anyway, we made it to the finish line, and we beat the beetle, and we had 50 uh, DK coins. And it's crying and sobbing. Well, you cheat against us, and you're going to cheat against other players who play this game. So, suck it up and be a good sport. But anyway, we have made some really good progress in this episode, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to close things off right here. So next time on Double RPGs Let's Play with Donkey Kong 64 on the Nintendo 64, we're going to continue where we left off, and probably we'll get another Kong to join us, you know, in our adventure. But anyway, if you have not done so already, be sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter with the links in the description. And if you like what you saw, be sure you rate this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave comments below to let me know what you guys thought of the episode. Anyway, take care of yourselves, gamers, and I'll see you next time. See you guys then.